Aquarius, welcome to your October 2018 tarot reading. My name is Serafina Safi and I present Enchanted Mirror Tarot. So what is the central theme of Aquarius' reading today? What is the central theme of Aquarius' reading today? I see playfulness, but I normally don't read these in the reverse, but I feel like I'm supposed to. There's playfulness here, and there's butterflies in both. And butterflies symbolize change, and choices, and growth. So there's playfulness, and there's a lack of compassion. I see a lack of compassion, and that's hindering your growth hindering your change, hindering your, yeah, there's fall right here. See the autumn, the autumn leaves. I see you being playful, you're not being serious. And it's blocking you. And it's causing you to lose power. There could be an Aries, Sagittarius, or a Leo here who has an explosive temper, and I see his temper erupting. I see he's all about conquest. He likes to conquer things. He looks like he's stable. He looks like he's down to earth, but he's very passionate, and he's full of growth and potential, and he loves to start new things. Or it could be a she. And this person's from the past. A story's coming out. A story just came out. So I see that you're no longer holding on. You're no longer greedy. You're no longer materialistic. We have the four of pentacles in the reverse. I see you sitting in your power. Uh, you're an air sign. You're about the winds of change. This is the queen of swords in the upright. The queen of swords is an air sign. Even if you're a man, this is a very strong, powerful energy. She's very influential. She speaks the truth and only the truth. Even if it hurts somebody, she'll still be blunt about the truth. She's all about the truth. She's very fair and just. I see choices here, and you're blinded. You don't know which way to go. I see you leaning more towards the past. It's like you are you don't want to look at the past. This is it. You don't want to look at the past. You're emotionally invested and physically you're physically present, but you're emotionally invested in the future. I see you don't want to see the past. You don't want to look at the past. I see that you're physically present, but emotionally you're in the future. And logically you're just blind. We have the Knight of Pentacles in the reverse. I see you moving very slow. There's a very slow movement. I see finances slowly, slowly creeping up. It's, it, this is very slow, steady, methodical. Um, there could be some poor financial investments. There could also be overeating, overindulging. There could be some laziness here. I see heartbreak. I see you crying in tears. This, she kind of like, she's pouting like she's, she's a little bratty two-year-old, like, I want it my way. There's disappointment there. I see you, and I see you losing hope. We have the star reverse, which is the card of Aquarius, and this is a loss of hope. But I see you releasing pain. Things have completed and you release pain. 
So you have this heartbreak, but going into nor towards November, you release it, you let it go, you move on. And I see you moving on fast. There could be spying behavior, malicious gossip, hurtful words. I see hurtful words. So I see that you're being playful and I see a, metamorpho a metamorphosis. I see a lack of compassion. I see a giving up almost like you're playful, but you're giving up. There's a lack of compassion. You're no longer empathetic. There was a new beginning, the, something that you wanted to conquer. There was somebody that may have had like a volcano temper that just erupted. Or if it's finances, it was something that was had explosive potential. If it was finances, you kind of just, you gave up the greed and you just kind of let it do its thing. If it's a relationship, you let go. You no longer hold on. If it's health, it's letting go. And you step into your power. Your communication is on point. Um, if it's finances, your strategic financial planning is on point. I see that you don't want to see the past, that you're physically present, and your finances, you're just looking at what you're presently bringing in, you're not looking at your past. And I see you emotionally invested in the future. And financially, I see that you have like this scheme, this money making scheme, but it's going to bring about heartbreak. So don't do anything that's scheming. You want to go the safe route. You have a choice. If you go the safe route, then it will turn out and the, you won't have any heartbreak. So you want to go the safe route and you want to take that blindfold off and look at your past mistakes. Your past mistakes will guide you in the future. But I don't see that you want to do that. I see that you want to do the opposite and that's going to lead to heartbreak. And that's going to take you out of yourself. It's going to turn you on your head. And I see like hurtful words. There's a, there's a, a war of words going into November. But you have the ability to change this because you have a two and two gives you the ability. So you want to be compassionate. You want to be empathetic. You want to learn from your past mistakes and that will prevent the heartache and that will actually lead you into this major success and this, this, there's stability here. And that's how you get stability in whatever you're doing. If this is a diet, if this is a relationship, if this is a job, if this is uh, I, I'm actually getting this being financial investments. I think that's what I'm feeling this as being mostly um, financially investing. But it could also be a relationship. It could be any of that. It could even be a diet. It's however you want to take it. For me, I'm getting more of this is about finances than a relationship because I'm not seeing emotion here. There's no emotion. There's a lack of emotion here. Yeah. And there's fire here. So there's passion, there's aggression, there's energy. There's earth here, 
So there's stability, there's grounding, there's air here, which is logic, reason, contracts. There's no emotion. I don't see any emotion in October for you. I see playfulness, I see flirtation, and I think that's why compassion's here in the reverse and why I felt like I should say that in the reverse, because normally I don't read reversals with that deck. So I see that there's a lack of emotion because of there's a lack of compassion. You turned your heart off because of heartbreak. Because of heartbreak. There was heartbreak in the past, and you're afraid of having heartbreak in the future. And presently, I see you guarding your heart. You're guarding your heart here, and that's why there's a lack of emotion. If you put emotion into your money, into your job, into your relationship, into your diet, if you, if you add emotion to it, that's what will send set you into a good a good start for November. Well, thank you so much, Aquarius. 